Greetings fellow programmers, uh, this is Pavel with a visual basic exercise. This is an exercise one from chapter 11 from book uh, Introduction to Programming using Visual Basic and uh, we are going to be creating an application that simulates uh, a person's savings and checking accounts. Uh, here's the description. We'll write a program to maintain a person's savings and checking accounts. The program should keep track of uh, and display the balances in both accounts and maintain a list of transactions, which is deposits, uh, withdrawals, fund transfers and check clearings. And separately for each account, the two list of transactions are stored in text files, which I will show you uh, soon. And uh, the program should have two classes, transaction and account. And um, there should be some properties, of course, uh, with the date and the name and the, what transaction it was, whether it's deposit or withdrawal. And the account uh, will be having bo obviously both checking and savings. And it will have uh, an array of transaction objects uh, and such. Uh, so I'm recording this after I finished it already, so uh, let me show you what it is that we are going to be actually creating. First, there's uh, two uh, text files, savings and check-in, and there's just a bunch of uh, transactions in it. Uh, the date, what transaction it is, it's a deposit, how much uh, was deposited, and there's a true or false, which basically simulates whether we are adding to the account or taking away, in other words, whether it's deposit or withdrawal. And checking has the same structure. Now the form itself looks like this. When it loads, uh, there's a check uh, drop down uh, that says checking and savings. It displays the balance of the selected account. It uh, displays the date, today's date. And in a grid view, it displays all the transactions from the uh, from the file. Now when we add, let's say I deposit $100 to check in, it says transaction has been added and you can see that now it's $1,500 over here and the transaction has been added to the bottom and uh, it was of course written as well to the uh, to the checkin.txt. Now if we switch, let's say to savings and let's say I want to withdraw thousand dollars but the balance is only 900 it says insufficient funds so it, the transaction it does not go through but let's say I want to withdraw uh, two hundred dollars so it just says transaction added and the balance is now 700 and withdrawal is added over here you can see that there's also in checking account we can write checks but when I select savings this disappears because in savings you don't you don't write checks from a savings account. So, but if I go to check-in uh, or savings, I can transfer from savings to check-in, or if I go to check-in, I can transfer from check-in to savings. So let's say I want to transfer again. I want to transfer more than I have, so it just tells me insufficient funds. But if I transfer, let's say five hundred dollars from check-in to savings, it's a transaction has been added, and uh, now the balance is only thousand, and it's been added here as transfer to savings five hundred. New balance is thousand, and it was a withdrawal. So if I go to savings, now the balance is twelve hundred dollars because the five hundred was already added from check-in. And finally, again, if I go to check-in, I can write a check. Let's say I write a check for uh, four hundred and fifty dollars to the order of. I will assign the check and it says transaction has been added. If I click OK, the balance is updated and it has been written as check for Powell uh, $450 and it's been a withdrawal because obviously when you write a check you withdraw money from the account. So this is completely going to be object oriented uh, visual basic programming. We will create those uh, classes, we will create a bunch of properties, some methods and of course there will be some calculations uh, and some logic between the deposit and withdrawal and how to uh, write into files uh, how, especially when transferring from checking to savings the 
we have to update both files at the same time because you take money from one account and put it to the other account so you have to update them uh, at the same time so uh, this was a fun exercise so if you want to know more about object-oriented programming in Visual Basic uh, this is a pretty decent exercise so uh, stick around and uh, in the next video I will start working on it and uh, hopefully you learn a few tricks and uh, it will help you with your homework maybe if this is one of your uh, college uh, homeworks and if you're just learning for yourself you know like I said this is a good exercise to go through so stick around and I'll see you in the next video take care